Welcome to this week's devotional entitled, Be Angry and Sin Not. Now this is an easy concept that we're going to point out here. Um, we're going to start in Ephesians 4, 26 and 27. It says, and don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. You could blame it on the fact that you're Irish, you can blame it on the fact that you're Italian or you're Puerto Rican, whatever, my anger this, my anger that. If you are a believer, you need to let those things go. Why? Because the Bible says that it's a foothold to the devil. That means the enemy can come in and attack. For example, if I was in an argument with my sister and we were just do, we just had a huge disagreement and all I wanted to do was throat punch her. I could have easily throat punched her and really there would have been like serious precautions for that. But the Bible says that that's a foothold that the devil will have to come into our lives. So that's an open door in other words. So you have to close that door to the enemy and make sure that your anger doesn't get the best of you. The word of God says don't allow the sun to go down. So this is for my newly married people too. If there's an argument, if there's a disagreement, you cannot go to bed angry. You cannot let the sun go down on those problems because it'll fester, it'll harbor. If you forget about it and don't talk, lo and behold, two months later, they're hashing that thing open again. Talk about it, don't get carried away. If you're angry, take a breather, get a coffee, come back, pray, ask God to come in and like show you how to properly handle the situation. Because the thing not to do is to go crazy, is to go berserk and wanna attack because we've all been there. Yeah. I've been behind a, the steering wheel where someone's cut me off and I wanted to go out there and, and literally kill them. Literally kill them. Let, let me tell you, one time I was in Fitchburg, Massachusetts and one girl cut me off. She gave me the finger. Those are fighting Ouch. words. They're not words, but they're fighting gestures. So I, I truly believe if I had a gun that day, there would have been bullet holes. But uh, that's... <laughs> That's fine. What you need I, to control that. that I, I sure did. What I took out of that scene, because I literally stalked her for like three minutes. She drove um, around chasing her. I did. It wasn't, I'm not proud of that moment. What I'm saying is that had I not controlled that, I, I would have been on the headline news for evangelist wife gone crazy, mm -hmm. gone berserk because someone gave her the middle finger. I mean, looking back on it, I'm thinking like, what an idiotic move. And so that's exactly what the devil would want when you allow anger to fester and you think it's like, oh, it's no big deal. It's just because that's who I am. It is not who you are. Those are not things that are, are of godly quality and it allows for the devil to come in. So if you have an anger issue or if something easily upsets you, what you ought to do is take it to the Lord and, and be delivered. Getting before God and saying, Lord, take this away. I don't want it. It's not a quality that I want in my life anymore. Um, this does not reflect reflect who you are, so please, Lord, take it away, and then begin to do steps to go based on that decision. If you pray for God to take things away, and then you still jump out of your car to like go beat someone up or, you know, it's not, you don't wanna act crazy. Don't allow for any of the devil to have any part of your life. And that includes anger, it includes anger. So don't allow for anger to fester or to have any part in who you are. In Jesus' name, you can do it. I mean, if I did it, <laughs> Me too. anybody can. Me too. You too? Yeah. God bless. Peace. Peace. <laughs>